Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. I am the Armchair Grump, and I'm happy to bring you this interesting-looking new game. Uh, it is entitled Century Age of Ashes. Seems to be on an expansion, I'm guessing. The Last Bastion. I'm not positive. Uh, this is my first time actually looking at it. It's a free-to-play game. I'm playing on the PS4. Um, I believe it, in the description it said PvP and PvE. Um, I love dragons. Uh, one of my most... Uh, probably, yeah, it is. It is my uh, most favorite like mythical um, uh, creature um, fantasy thing out there. So um, I love the old play PS3 game Lair. Uh, I had that like from the very beginning. Um, I've w I wanted more games like that. Um, uh, just being able to fly around dragons. Uh, uh, I, 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 when I eventually get my PC, I'm going to try and mod up Skyrim like crazy to do more stuff with the dragons. All that kind of stuff. So, um, but I, I love dragons. I just do. So the dragons in this look amazing, uh, just from the videos I've seen so far. Um, and I'm just, I'm just excited. Um, I don't want to get my hopes up too much. Um, it is a PvP game, so, but I did, like, again, like I said, there's a PvP, PvE mode, hopefully, um, too. Um, I am excited for the PvP mode, but, uh, I always like it when they include PvE, um, just in case I'm not feeling competitive for the day. Um, dragons look amazing. Uh, what I like, too, is, um, they have, a, a they're, they're perfectly my style of dragon. I don't know. There's a lot of variations and styles of dragons, uh, and they're very much. If they're the kind of dragons that I guess uh, um, you see, like I like Eastern uh, uh, mythological dragons too, uh, like the long, snaky ones and all that. But um, if uh, the ones in Game of Thrones, especially in the the newest Game of Thrones, uh, definitely some of uh, the ones I really like, and a lot of them seem to have very similar appearances. So I'm very excited for this. So, um, yeah, let's go ahead and accept and continue. Let's dip into this. Now, as far as I understand it, it's kind of like, um, I've played, like, War Thunder and other, like, uh, plane simulator games here. So, I'm assuming it's kind of like that. Why is it frozen already? Oh, there it goes. Let's say I clicked Four it. Four centuries. Oh, we got a letter. Our numbers have dwindled. Just a second to mention. Thousands of Valkyrians lost under the yoke of Skeld. But our battle cry still carries through the wind. I feel like a Norse sounding voice. We keep on protecting the sanctuary. line of defense against faraway foes. Now the dwellers are crawling in the shadows again. A storm is about to break out. Ooh. Big dragon or big monster? Welcome to... Yes! Uh, technically it's a new game. It's a free-to-play game. You know, like... Uh... Uh, like uh, Overwatch, um, it's a PVE PVP game. It seems, or that's what it said in the description. Uh, so it looks like it's a flight simulator with dragons instead of like airplanes. Uh, so it's a combat uh, flight, you know, flight simulator. Well, not simulator, but you know, flying through the air, shooting people down. Um, and it's got PVP PVE modes. Um, it's not like a single player game. So. Uh, yeah, uh, dude, I love I love dragons, and I found I saw this in the I found this in the free to play game section, and I was just like, oh, this is this would be my jam. I've talked about Layer quite a bit. Like I love that game on the PS3. It was an old game when the PS3 first came out. Uh, welcome to Century Ages Age of Ashes. Uh. Dawn of the Last Age is upon us, Dragoneer. Ride your steed to battle. Join the everlasting war between the great kingdoms and reap glory 
the ashes of the old world. Before diving into the arena, we recommend you play the tutorial in order to familiarize yourself with your mount and its unique aptitudes. Yeah. I mean, it doesn't look like you have an option, so... It seems like there's either a lag or, like, it, it it's... Maybe it's loading and it doesn't go to a load screen. It's I clicked it, so okay, it's going. It's kind of annoying, but mm, I'm so excited for this. We'll probably play some PV. E to get used to the flight and everything first. Oh, dude, the graphics look so good. If I could get a single player game, too, that has like a single player mode and a multiplayer mode, dude, like, oh, looks yummy. This looks so good. Like, just the graphics. This is what it's kind of like the look I always wanted Layer to have. This training ground, you will be taught the basics of aerial warfare to guide in. Need our guidance, and you might one day rule the skies of the age fashions. Do we not have like a name for this land or something? You are a marauder, a ruthless combatant, especially in, specializing in big game hunting. It's X to play. Movement L to steer your mount in any direction. Ah, they got, um, you know what, um, oh, just one second, sorry, um, I can't see any of your guys' chat at the moment, uh, my computer is rebooting up, uh, can we, settings, you know what, um, Setting off, controls, invert. Oh wait, uh, no. We want X axis is left and right, Y axis is up and down. So we want up and down. I never remember. X, usually they say, yeah, this is, there we go. Yeah, we got this right. There we go. Alright, fly through the checkpoints. So it looks like you pick up some speed when you go downwards. Accelerating, R2 to speed up. Dragons look pretty cool. Slowing down, uh, hold R2 to brake, left L2 to brake. Sharp turns are easier to take while braking. Oh, I guess hold it for a few seconds. Stamina. Fill up your stamina by flying over energy rifts. Same on this lower bottom part. Where is the energy? Is it? Cool. Tap R2 twice. Let me just back up. Just one second. That up. That up. Tap R2 twice and hold on the second tap to boost. Stamina charge will be consumed to be sure to hold R2 for up to three seconds to get the most speed out of your boost. Ah. Fireballs. Close enough for an enemy, aim at their health gauge and press X to shoot a fireball. This projectile will follow your enemy. Oh, follow. Ooh, I don't like that. That's auto, like, I was hoping, 
I was hoping to lead the target system. But Where are we looking here? No. Oh, shit. Look at the uh, the distance graphics. Oh, everything looks decent in this, but then at distance, the uh, the wings they do that. That's the one thing they could have like. That's the one thing they shouldn't do is like, in the distance, the wings should not do the mechanic where they do some po like the some of the the, the newest Pokemon game too is like. In the distance, like. They'll they'll stop animating. They'll stop a complete animation. Instead of, like, doing a complete flap of the wings, they'll, like, stutter. They'll, like, go, eh, 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 eh. Like, you'll see it. Like, instead of doing a complete wing animation, I don't know. Oh, why did they Why did they have it do it that way? I can't imagine that it was that much of a... Stop this. Stop this. Yeah, I can't imagine it was that much of resource to just have the... Well... I guess it's that way. It's just gonna look kind of meh. The rest of the game looks good, but then you, in the distance, you're just gonna have all these ugly seagulls flapping their wings that are stuttering wings. All right, I'm gonna see your chat in just one second, and chat should be back now. Oh shoot! Well. Well, you know, there was a free-to-play mech. There's a couple free-to-play mech games. There's Hawken. Uh, there's Hawken and uh, the free-to-play game section. I've actually played that. That was pretty good back in the day. I just, um, you know, I think I deleted it because uh, that was before I had a hard drive. So... Uh, yeah. So I would check that out. Uh, there's that one. There's another mech game in there now, too. Health and Shield. Shields? Why do you have shields? Your health is represented by the bar in the bottom left corner of the screen, and enemy's health is represented by the circle around them. Shield points stack on top of health points and are represented in blue. Lower left, yep. Yeah. yeah, see how see how the animation? It's not a complete animation, it's just up, down, up, down, up, like look at that. And the reason it does it is to save resources. Um that's usually why they do that, is things farther away uh, take away animations. Uh, they have different animation sets. Uh, if it's farther away, they use a, a, a worse animation set, or basically an animation set that uses less animations in order to um, make it the run easier on the engine, because it had, uses less processes. So... Flame Breath. In close range, dragons use their flame breath to heavily damage a target. And golden brackets appear around your enemy's health circle. Hold circle to turn them into ashes. Be advised, your flame breath has a limited duration. Um, I, I hope that's something they change. Maybe it's just because we're on the PS4 and the grip. But it would. Be, I wish you could turn down the graphics enough to stop that. It's terrible. It looks terrible. 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 I mean, the rest of the game looks good. But when you have a t terrible animation... See, as soon as I get within a certain range, you get the animation set. I know. I was trying to give you something that was close. I, I don't think there's anything that actually has Shadow of Colossus like Colossus is. Like, there's barely any dragon games. Press square to use your ability. Some abilities, such as your frost bolts, require locking before firing. Frost bolts impair your enemy's steering. Damn. I'm 
guessing this isn't... I'm guessing these are easier to kill, right? Press triangle to use your power. Some powers, such as your hunter's mark, require locking an enemy before firing. Once the enemy is marked, you can shoot faster fireballs at it with X. Oops. It's actually too slow. It would be nice if I could look at the front of my dragon with a certain button. Red indicator is displayed whenever a nearby projectile is locked onto you. Picks the projectile's locations relative to your character. You can dodge projectile by boosting and taking sharp turns or by flying around obstacles. Let's see this. Okay, red indicator. Boost. Sharp turn. Keep, I'll be honest, I keep holding X by accident. Now hold the keys that will unlock your dragon dragoneering potential. It's a final assignment. Eliminate the last enemy by making use of everything you were taught. think of the kind of game they would um, make out of it, whether it just be a PvP. I mean, they got tons of mech games and stuff, so... Apprentice. I'll be right back. I'm gonna go check on my... Oh, dude. The dragons do look cool, dude. I, oh, I want a single-player game like this so bad now. I would pay so much. Congratulations. Having mastered the basics of aerial combat, you are finally ready to begin. Dragoneering journey. As a set of roars have been added to your class, inventory, and play profile. Entering a 3v3 invitation battle to complete your training. I was having some issues with my uh, food I was making. So this game's free to play, um, but they do have, like, you can buy, like, uh, now I don't think there's any power you can buy, but you can buy, like, uh, different dragons for, like, 30, like, you can buy pet, pet like, um, Packs of dragons, basically, for you. They're different looks. You can buy skins, basically. And they're kind of pricey. Won't lie. But that's the only thing you can buy, and there's a variety of them. I don't know if you can, like... What is this dragon pass? You get coinage. Is it, uh, buy premium pass. Zero out of ten. What does that mean? Oh no. Is this one of those games where you get a certain... Like, you get dragons and you lose dragons? I was hoping it was not that kind of game. As far as the premium pass, you need nine more rewards from tier one. How much is the premium pass? Let's see. I'm guessing ten bucks. No. Oh. Trying to see how much it costs. I don't know what 950 is. The customization menu in the classes to be equipped. Hatching. You can equip a dragon egg, prove your worth by completing quests, and witness the growth of your hatchling into a full fledged adult dragon. You can ride to battle successfully, hatching an egg grants you a dragon. 
Cool. Oh. Well, I guess we're equipping this one. I have three rare eggs. I like the look of... This one looks cool. That one. Customization. Ooh. Oh, they have different powers. Hunter's Mark. It's just on Salvation. A rush toward a locked ally. Grants a healing temporary shield to you and your target. Oh. Oh, these are different characters. So you can... So the dragons... Oh, okay. Dude, these dragons look so cool. So these are the different dragons, uh, the, like, characters. Um, this one's locked. How do you unlock him? Get the class. I'm guessing you buy it. Nest report. Remember that your eggs and hatchlings need you a dragon here to evolve. Visit the nest to check on them. Time and see what they require. Buy with, oh, okay, so silver coins, it looks like, which I think is the non-premium, which is 20,000. I wonder how fast, how expensive that is. And then 800 of the non, which seems kind of expensive when 950 is the cost of the battle pass. We'll see. This is a shop. How much are gems? So starter pack of 800 is five bucks. So basically, the, the, the pass is $10, yeah. Because it was nine fifty, of course. You'll have 50 gems left over. The weekly. They have some items you can buy with the non-premium currency, which is cool. Senior armor... They got a lot of cool looking things, I'll give them that. Like, I'll be honest, I'm a lot more tempted to buy stuff in here than I am into play do Overwatch. We'll see how the game plays though. Okay, so this one says I have some customization. I said so I have a customization. Dragons are you own or displayed here. Each class rides its own unique dragon species. Use this menu to equip a dragon or over overview. Or overview it along its rider. I see. Oh, I get a different skin. All right. So, oh, I remember. This is the free DLC for the PlayStation. Yeah, PS Plus. All right. I like it. All right. So you can mix and match your armor. All right. Let's see the different. Well, just because you have one in your head. <laughs> well, I mean, that's good. But, uh, yeah, someone's got to make it. All right, so this guy has the Hunter's Mark. Mark can attack an enemy. Rage. It's become affected by your Hunter's Mark. Eliminate them. How do you unleash that power? How do you get the Rage? It didn't tell me how to use Rage. Gus, destroy all enemy fire... All enemy fireballs locked onto you and make you untargetable for a short. No one told me how to use that ability. Uh, they told me how to use frost bolts. So you have two abilities and two powers. So this is like your attack. This is like your assault. This is your healer. It looks like. Uh, power rush toward a locked ally, granting healing temporary shield to you and your target. Uh, rage enhances your salvation surge. Turns you ally berserk for a short while and grants additional shield ability blast. So that's where the shield is like a magical shield. Okay. Launches an exploit exploding projectile. Issues a shockwave upon processing the ability, but in a second time or when colliding with the surface. 
Smoke trail. Release an opaque poisonous trail behind your dragon, preventing opponents from targeting you. All right. Shadow Assassin. Rage. Or sorry. Uh, power. Passive. You deal more damage to enemy shields. Okay. Passive. You're less l affected by shockwave and negative status effects. Have a shorter duration. Elimination and assist fully recharge your ability and power. All right. Uh, power. Mystic Shroud. Seals your character from far away enemy and release a more powerful fireball if you attack. The effect is concealed by shockwaves. Cancelled by shockwaves. Makes your character invincible and untargetable. Short while your fireballs deal more damage. Launches an exploding pro exploding projectile unleashes a shockwave on pressing the ability button a second time or when colliding with the surface. Sticks to surface and explodes when an enemy enters its trigger zone. You have checked out the starters pack. Have you checked out the starters pack? Beastuary. The Beastuary gives you an overview of the stories and locations of the dragon species you own and those you've discovered. You may discover new species when a player with an unknown steed is showcased at the starter at the end of a match. You have to see the same species twice to complete your discovery. Annoying. Nest. So what do I need to do? This one says earn 500 experience points. Um, complete previous quest to unlock. Oh, this okay. Dragon pass rewards or quests daily. And daily objective. What are the dailies? Dailies. Nine hours left. Win one game of Outbreak. Confirmed or higher difficulty. Four matches as Phantom. Matches one guard. Steal 200 gold from enemy players. Spoils of war. Kill 600 enemies in Carnage. Complete ten ways of Outbreak. Higher difficulty. Alright, so that's 25 silver, 25 silver, 25 silver. Not a terrible rate. Uh, that's just for daily quests, but then you get more get silver. Is it three silver or five silver? I'm confused. I don't know what these... It says silver, but I don't know how much. Oh, this requires the peen... Okay, it requires premium pass. That's a cool skin. All right, um, insider program. Subscription to the Century Insider program are now open. This newsletter program is your chance to receive monthly news, exclusive announcements, invitations to con content previews. Uh, join the insider program today to receive additional sign-up rewards. 400 gems, now the best time to become an insider. See you in the skies, Dragoneer. Head to the insider program tab and the game settings. Mm. Okay. All right, just a second, I smell something. Something's burning. Just a second. <laughs> Luckily, it's not my steak. It's some no shit.
Sorry, this isn't going quite well. I threw a steak in the oven, expecting it to take a little bit of a while, and now something spilled in there, apparently, and it's burning and setting the alarm off. So I said go multiplayer. We did the training. Invitation. Beginner. Matchmaking. 51 seconds estimated. One game of Outbreak. I'm guessing Outbreak is the... I don't know. Um, PvE mode? Use the ping button to communicate with your allies. Well, that went way too fast. It says next tip, but it doesn't let me go back. Monstrosities? Fuck you. I'm not a terrible cook, okay? I've actually had girls enjoy my cooking. And I know they enjoyed my cooking because they didn't know it was me cooking it. And they said they liked it. So. So it wasn't like they were flattering me. Do do. Initiation. Unvatten. Unavatten Lake. Unavatten. Mm -hmm. In initiation, you have to chase and kill your opponents to give points to your team in each, in each round. The game is played in three round maximum. The first team to win two rounds wins the game. Make good use of shields and airflow on the map to protect yourself from enemy attacks. Seems like this is going to be difficult to do, but I like playing the healer. They went triple heals. Well, shit. Hopefully there's something I'm not um, missing out on. Like, is the healer like super busted or did they just... So how do you lock... Oh, shit. How do you lock on... To, like, a friendly... That's a question. be centering this is gonna be hard to get used to. Alright. Alright, is this a free shield maybe? Gotta kill. Oh shit. Actually, kind of fun. Whoa, whoa. Hey, nice. We got the last kill. That kind of scared me, but we did it. Hey, I got a kill. Nice. Boom. Boom. I just got to not die. <laughs> Ooh, 
Dude, the dragons are really cool. Like, they did a great job on these dragons. I like it. All right, let's get these, uh, what is this? I think this is my stamina boost. Somebody. Oh. oh, got him. Nice. I got pretty long distance hits on this, so. him all right gotta get the shields I remember that I'm trying to target him Hey, it's three kills, man. We're doing better. Come here, baby. Come here. Boom. Hey, I got three kills that round. We did it. Fire Legion wins the match. I'm sorry, puppy. Do you smell the... Hey! I came in first! Honor outlast those who embrace it. Awesome. Hey, I was the healer and I got the most kills. Four kills, one death. Hey, the other guy got four kills, one death. But I got the most assists? Nice. That was actually pretty fun. Hey, you got you get a decent amount of silver. All right, twenty nine silver. Survive fifteen pursuits. All right, so I'm getting a decent amount. Three assists. Newborn. All right, so I got the experience I needed for the egg. I got all the experience. Awesome. XP distribution. Using the gust ability is a good way to quickly replenish your stamina while getting on your opponent's nerves. Okay. Got to remember all the buttons. Obviously, that was a which I'm gonna call it match. Uh, everyone is new, so I think I think that's what that was. A three v three invitational is what they called it. Now, I don't know if I said, I, I, I cook food that I really like, I'll be honest. So like, I cook kind of for my tastes. So like, I like make it, like I make a lot of sloppy joes, steak. Well, I cook a lot of things also that like, I have to, like, I can eat. Cause there's a lot of things I can't eat. So, um, so I eat a lot of like turkey burger, like a uh, hamburger, turkey burger or stuff like that. My egg is ready to hatch, really? I thought I'd, Soon you are finally ready to rule the skies. You will now be able to access centuries or experience and start quick unranked 6v6 matches. Initiation mode will remain available until you play five matches. The play tab. Afterwards, it will be replaced by arena. Wonder what arena is. So, do you unlock... My question is, is do you unlock... Like, do you unlock any of this stuff? I mean, even though I don't own the pass, can you still unlock any of it? Like, are you unlocking any of it while in the background? And then you can pay for the pass? Otherwise... 
Not enough stars. Requires the premium pass. What are stars? Okay, so some of these don't require star. All right, so this has not enough stars. Okay, so it's... Okay, so you use stars to unlock stuff in the pass. These doesn't require... This doesn't require the premium pass. This stuff does. Okay. I see that now. Question is, is how do you get stars? I'm assuming leveling up. I need uh, the nest. It said... Hatch your egg and your baby dragon by growing your worth as a dragon here. Once all the quests are completed, you'll be able to to ride your new majestic steed to battle. I only... That's weird, I only did one of them. Bananas hush. Go lay down. Oh, okay, so you hatched the egg and now you gotta raise the egg. That's, that's kind of cool. That is cute. I wanted to get. I want a single player game like this where you can actually, like, you know, you find eggs, you hatch baby dragons, you do, like, do quests. Ah. Oh. Congratulations, you now become the caretaker of your first dragon hatchling. Yet it's frail and inexperienced rules. Inexperienced rules out any riding for now. To make it reach its potential, you will have to raise it by completing growth step quests. Uh, dodge three fireballs. I'm assuming the dodge is like just getting missed by it, right? I, I think that's what it said. That doesn't seem that hard. I can't eat pastas, and uh, I can't. Yeah, at least wheat wheat pastas. Great. Um, I can do like rice pastas and stuff, but um, they tend like they tend to be really hard to do. Get really wet and mushy. You said it looks like a bird. Yeah, the baby form kind of has really it look a real frail. Or you could turn it. You can't move it. Like you can't um yeah, you can't move it at all. So I currently have fifty four silver. Interesting. Oh, that costs 20,000? That'll be interesting to see if I get that. Hmm. Come here. Alright, uh, I think we'll play some more of the initiation. Just to get, um... Uh, so... That seems to be a B -dug, uh, uh, debug issue. Look, instead of... Instead of having a name, it says Menu Play Section MTPVE. That's what it's called. <laughs> it doesn't seem to be the right name. I think it's supposed to have a name there. What's a belowed pasta? But the problem is, is like I like pasta. Yeah, they're they're just kind of too much. I like eating things like uh, I like Japanese a lot of Japanese styles stuff. So there are some noodles that I really like. Um, I like uh, more like uh, those rice noodles and stuff. Like there's some rice noodles stuff that I eat. I eat some some, some versions of ra I eat some versions of ramen, uh, stuff like that. Um, uh, quite often. Um, and I like eating a lot of things with rice. I used to eat a lot of rice, but um, I there's I, my cholesterol. I think it was my cholesterol was really high, so I had to cut back on the grains and and rice, the carbs, because um, I, I can't remember if it was my something in my diet. The, the doctor said to call cut back on breads and uh, carbs 
So, so which counted at rice, because I used to eat lots of rice. Oh, beloved. Yeah, just met this guy. Alright, we'll go for this again. There's no active booster, but do I have a booster? There. There's 30 day active booster. I just activated it. I didn't, that's cool. Hide an ally smoke trail to prevent distant enemies from targeting you. Oh, you're part Italian? Cool. Oh, we get you cooking side. Is that what? Is that kind of what, actually what interested you in cooking? Because of your Italian side, or like, the, does your family? Is there like a lot of? Does like part of your family cook a lot, or like make a lot of meals and stuff? Like, I don't know. Does like uh. Like my my grandparents, my grandparents used to cook a lot. My mom cooks some. I mean, my mom cooks too, but uh, she doesn't like it very much. But my grandparents, you know, they were all about the cooking during the holidays and everything. So getting in the kitchen with my my grandma and stuff was always fun. Sneaking food out. Um, launches an exploding projectile and unleashes a shockwave upon pressing the ability. Second time, or when colliding with the surface, release an opaque poisonous. Go smoke trail. going on here. tap maybe nice that's cool your brother really inspired well that's right you told me you, your your uh, uh, your friend said that was an accident. Your friend said you make food better than his mother. Got 
Got you, sucker. These shields. Can you get more than quarter shields or third shields? Oh. I need to use my ability. I need to find somebody. longer have to wait for cooldown. Dude, I think I got this game down. Boom. Yeah. We got that. Two in a row. Dude, I'm liking this, dude. Yeah, there's... I did it again! Came in first! I like the, I like the look of this Dirt Dragon too. Kind of like, so it looks like the Norwegian Ridgeback from Harry Potter. Dude, I'm so excited for Harry Potter when it comes out. Uh, four kills, zero deaths, three assists. Nice. Alright, what did we get? One die dodged one fireball. All right, so when you level up, you get five stars. I think it says five stars. Let's see. Yes, five stars. Level two. All right, we're halfway there. Phantoms were predate by the Nerdor Hermits. The ancient initiations of dragon taming their secret became exposed. Like, so far, I like the gameplay of this, dude. Uh, the dragons in the feeling, like, is really good. The combat is really fun. Um, I would love for these guys to make a single player. I could see a really good single player too. Like, if they, if they, like, added a single player to this, like, they could build a single player and add the multiplayer to it. Um, I could, ah, oh, dude, I could... I want a single player dragon game so bad. Like like a like a Skyrim esque one where like you ride your dragon, you can find cool eggs everywhere, like you have like you can go around on the ground and fly in the air, you have quests. Like an RPG with a dragon. You know? Like you have like air combat and ground combat. And, and a mixture of things, right? Like Ugh. They were supposed to. There was a game for Xbox a while ago that they were gonna. They were making, but it got canceled. I can't remember what it was called, but they were working on a game for Xbox that had. That was basically kind of. It was a. It was a guy and his dragon. It was. It, the guy looked modern day. It wasn't old. It wasn't like he was a knight or anything or like a dragon rider. But it looked modern day. He had like modern day clothes on. But it still had like he was a dragon. The, the, like he was a riding dragons. It had multiplayer. Um, it had a single player. Like I was, yeah. I want them to like. I want them someone to buy the license for Lair and remake it. Um, because there's uh, so much potential behind Lair. I also want to stream Lair. Or let's like stream some old PS3 games. Heavenly Sword is definitely one of those games. A uh, hunted would be another one. Uh, give me one second. A Mogati.
I have to, uh... I have to fan... Son of a bitch! I have to fan the fire detector. Storm Razor Class Pack. Harness the thunder of Bakurians. Oh, this is the one that was 800. I'm... If I end up liking this, I might end up buying the Battle Pass. That might be something I might be interested in. But, uh... I don't know if I want to buy a character. Like, I might earn it the other way. I'm asking for too much what? What was I asking for? Did I, did I actually ask for something or were you just saying it? I can't remember. I talked too much. Sorry, puppy. I know the steak smells good, doesn't it? She goes, there is food here, and I want it. I want it so bad. These pop-ups are going to be annoying. Oh, this is not just the 800 coins. This pack includes... I didn't mean to do that. It, see, this is what's going to be annoying. Hopefully these are one-time ads, and they don't keep doing it to you. No, I just... I'm So much stuff is on my mind, um... I might have said something, or you might have picked up on something that was, like, not important to me, and I, you know, put it out of my head. Um, if they keep having these ads pop up after every round, that is a bad thing. Put it in the store, or, you know, advertise me once a couple things, and then be done with it. Don't constantly put the stuff in my face. The pack includes Unlock for the Storm Razor class, exclusive Epic Draven, one exclusive Legendary Weapon, Exclusive legendary background, 14 day booster, in game purchase. Uh, in game purchase required. Okay, yeah. No, thank you. It wants to keep taking you to the store, so it, it, they really better stop with that soon. Like, I know that's how they make their money, but. Like, you got me interested. You keep doing that, you're gonna put me off. Alright, so I can do this five times, it says. So this thing is active for 30 days. Damn. Got a free booster. Got a free booster off the, uh... Um... The... The place... If, uh, off the store. It was a free pack. There's a, there's a free dragon skin and a free booster, I think. Yeah, yeah. Like, I'm okay, like, for a new person. Like, it's better to, rather than have an evasive one that you have to click through, have it, like, in the corner. Like, have, like, a, a, a an ad running in the corner that I can see, you know, to kind of entice me or something. But um, the other thing was is I don't think there was an option to just hit circle and back out. I had to click X to go to the store, and then I had to then scroll back over to the main menu. Yeah. Or back over to the, you know, combat menu. Um, it's not a good way to do it, guys. Like, I know you're free to play a game. I know. I know you gotta make money, but, um... Invasive... There's a difference between, like I said, like, have... A quarter of the screen in the upper right running ads. Or, like, have a portion of the screen... Uh, run ads. Uh, like, you know, like, day, like have your dailies and stuff, or have something cycle through showing your daily deals or something. Yeah, I already know this. Alright, I'm, I'm liking the wind guard, so let's stick with it. Uh, I haven't really used my ability yet. Um, I haven't even used it, so... Bubby. The 6v6 will be interesting. Be a little bit more chaotic. Hmm, two assassins. I gotta remember... I gotta remember to use the, uh, ability. That's cool. That's a different skin, it looks like. Zero kill, zero assist, three deaths. That's not good!
Got one. Scratch one. Scratch two, or scratch three, sorry. Oh, no, that's bad. Where's my friendlies? I need some friendlies. There's an enemy. Nice, try got a kill. There we go. Nice job. I'll heal them. I like the heal factor. That's a cool ability. Torch him. We got it. Nice. Don't worry. I promise I'll give us some steak. I give us some steak, I promise. I'll get you some dinner in just a minute. I know it's torture. Hey. No idea where they came from, dude. Dude, they're on. They are fucking on. Dude, I need my team. My boys, dude, they're just fucking. Where are they? Need some help, dude. Got one. Here we go. Scratch one. I, I didn't get that. Why didn't I get that? Where's the rest of my team? Did they leave? Am I the only player? Yeah, somebody left. I was like, where are they? Oh, that's unfortunate. Everybody on me. I, 
had everybody on me too. Ever, like everybody. My team player, no, my teammates sucked. And somebody quit. Hey, no problem, man. Uh, you will get some rest. Thanks for hanging out. Dude, I still got five kills, three deaths. <laughs> Dodge so many fireballs. the flag and gates of fire mode prevents you from using your character's power. Carnage mode, the Drake Piercer will spawn every two minutes, two thirty minutes. Not be dodged, so try to eliminate the holder before they can use it. Carnage mode. So that's another PvE mode, it seems. It seems like it's another PvP mode. Kind of like, um, what is it? There is a mode in, um, in Doom, in Slayer, in, uh, Doom. There was a mode in Doom where you would become the demon, like, in the middle of the map. Okay, cool. There was no ad this time around. I need to complete four matches at Phantom. One one game of Outbreak at confirmed or higher difficulty for my dailies. And for weeklies... Oh, right, I'm doing well as weeklies. Kill 20 enemies as a wing guard. So I need to keep playing as wing guard also for 20,000 experience. So I'll just keep playing. Pick up 10 wind blessings. Uh, deal 5,000 damage with fireballs. So... Uh, dragon... Classes, nest. After witnessing your courage in battle, your hatchling is ready to progress to the next growth stage. Complete enough growth, growth steps so it can thrive into a potent steed. Row. Let's see what this thing looks like. I'm so excited. This is a cool, this is a cool way to do it. Okay, mm got a little bit bigger. But it wasn't like... Yeah, it got a little bit bigger. It just got bigger. That's about it. It went from... It got a little more muscular. Oh no, it got stuff on it. Like, it got stuff on its chin and stuff too. So yeah, I see I see the difference. It was... It was a... It was a very mild step. But it was a step. Uh... It got a little bit bigger. It's got the stuff on its... On its, uh... And now it has, like, the things on its side. So... It's still cool though, I like it. I'm gonna like this one, I like this, the red. It kinda looks, this one kinda reminds me of the one from the new, um, what is this? Oh, at brown. Squire. It's my banner. Bin. So far, I think the balancing is alright. I don't think there's, like, anything. So, I like that they... Obviously, the fact that they've... The, the, this, it's all skins and stuff is, um, it seems very well done, so. Alright, we're gonna play a couple more. Uh, let's, let's, uh, get through the initiation. Let's do the rest of the initiations, I think. Or, you know what? Screw that. Um, uh, what, cancel? Nope. 
throwing match. I guess we're drawing a match. I was gonna say cancel, but screw it. Uh, we'll do we'll do some. I want to try out some six v six. Get into that. New New Order is an Eastern land dominated by the mountain range of the same name. It's a territory of mysteries and ruins, home to the three most sacred phantom temples: Sklavig, Helgen, Skaltar. Skaltar. Nice job, Luna Girl. Oh damn, I ran into that. That's not good. I keep hitting next by accident. I think it's the speed boost. seen this before. It's an underground cavern. Nice. Oops.
Nice job, Luna Girl. Like this is using the same engine like i think it's using the same engine as um nice i came in first again cool i was gonna say i saw a lot out there for luna girls but what oh just for my score this is the score i guess i guess a lot of uh damage can be targeted and destroyed. <laughs> I don't think that's the last time that we can do the whatever, but uh, do the initiation, but we're going to go on to the regular. 6v6 is going to be interesting. 3v3 is not bad, but 6v6 is going to be a little more... F especially if the arena's eye stays the same. Mines will not stick in some places, such as respawn areas and wind tunnels. Well, that's nice. Which is good to know. What was the next objective? Oh, got it. got a little bit bigger again like it's not even he's it's noticeable like I see him getting bigger but like he's not I wish you could like see a person next to him or something oh he's, he's got spots and stuff on him now I see spots horns are a bit bigger neck is definitely longer all right oops uh rush use the the words are so small use the Wing guards, salvation surge five times on allies. Okay, that's, that's gonna be easy. Okay, that's this is a variety of game modes. Assuming that she's not like the team deathmatch or whatever. I mean, I, I, I find the match like that's an interesting way to do like team deathmatch. I like it. Wingard and Salvation Surge power can be used to get out of dangerous situations. Yeah, I can. It is a nice ability. I'll give you that. Eldruin Sanctuary. Elduin. Crossbolts will not restrict a shielded enemy's movements.
rules carnage. The goal of carnage is to eliminate your opponents and reap their bounty points. Your team, each killer assist increases your bounty and makes you a bigger target. Into the team timer, the team with the most points wins the match. Okay, so try and stay alive as much as possible. That's a cool dragon. First thing is going to need to learn these maps. So just try and stay alive, my friend. Got him. Game feels good, I'll give you that. I missed. Ah, yeah. uh, give me, give me, give me, give me. I'm trying to. He's right there. Hey, this ability is not helping. Damn it. Let me use it on this. There we go. Got him. Glad running into walls does not hurt you. I wish there was team team chat. Be nice. Hey, I got healed. Nice.
somebody's nemesis. See that I would like not to be hunted. Anybody? Damn, I ran into a wall. It's not what we want. It's a wall there. Damn it. I was trying to help that guy. I escaped. I escaped. Nice. I didn't die once. I didn't get many kills, but I still did pretty good. The first warrior. Hey, I came in third. Nice. Get your fortune by the throat. That's a cool skin. I'll give him that. That's cool. I got four kills, uh, or something. I don't know. Five assists, zero deaths. Zero deaths is pretty important, dude. They only got one kill. They only got one kill. Ouch. Holy shit! I just got a lot of, a lot of experience. A shit ton of experience. Played five matches. Wing guard. Oh, that might have been why. Twenty thousand. I just got twenty thousand for doing that. Oh, oop! Just got twenty thousand for doing that. I just got a hundred and nineteen thousand eight hundred and thirty-eight experience. Cool. Five stars, nice. So there's level two. Sorry, level three. How much for the next level? It's forty thousand. And we're gonna make it about halfway to level five. Well, a little bit more than that. Damn, nice. Getting those weeklies. Yeah, those weeklies are pretty good. Your columns restore your stamp. I think we got the last step in our dragon grow, so. So far I haven't seen anything like in a lot of free to play games, like on phone games where they like Give you a whole bunch of stuff up front. Give you a whole bunch of stuff. Give you a whole bunch of stuff. I mean, they did give me some stuff. It was free stuff for being PlayStation Plus. Like, I got a skin, and I got a 30-day booster. You know, experience booster and stuff like that. So, I mean, the leveling up does seem like... Um, but the leveling up is for the, the Dragon Pass, basically. So, let's see here. Let's check something out real quick. Okay. Ashley is ready to grow. So, for the... 
I got 15 stars, X's, whatever these are called. I... Okay, it didn't, it didn't. So this gives me... Oh, okay, so this will give me 2,500 coins, and I can claim it 10 times, apparently. This will give me player icon, tagline, and player title. Why would I want a 0 out of 10 claimed? What does that mean? Do I need to claim... Why does it say 0 out of 10 claimed? Oh, can I only claim 10 things on the free-to-play or something? Oh, no, this is claim six more rewards right here to unlock this. So... Maybe you can claim this 10 times. Let's... I don't know. I'm going to save the... I will, I'll save my... I'll save it. I'm going to save it for right now. Um, I don't know when the season pass... Let's see. Shop. Let's go to the season pass and see when the season pass... Dragon Past... Buy Premium... Doesn't seem to give me a date or time. Like, normally it tells me... Usually a game will tell you. So, yeah, I think we'll save our, our, our stripes. I think the coins would obviously be the most pertinent right now um, and I might buy the first season pass I'm not sure giving this game ten dollars is not bad this dragon looks cool dragons look pretty cool on the, on the pass I won't lie um, so getting your weeklies seem to be the best way to level up and they're, they're not bad so so far it seems okay now Unlocking stuff for unlocking like the levels or um, let's see where's the next the level stuff um, like how fast it goes from like twenty thousand to thirty thousand to forty thousand to fifty thousand guessing to sixty thousand like it looks like it every level requires another ten thousand eight experience so that uh, I don't know about that I don't know about that. I just don't know. Oh, food? Hungry? I can get you something. But, um, otherwise, so far, um, uh, I don't know. Things look okay so far. Balance wise, um, they, they gave me some eggs. Um, I don't know if these are the free ones, if everyone gets these or not. Uh, it'll be something I'll have to see. Um, I also don't know. I don't think I unlocked them. I don't think I got them. I think I only got the skin and the. I think I only got the skin in the pass. I'd have to look at the, at the DLC for the PlayStation Plus people. I think it was only a skin for the Assassin, the Phantom, and uh, uh, the 30 day booster. So. Grow, my precious. Grow. So this is. I th I kind of wish we had a little bit. Like it did grow a little bit and change, but um. Kind of wish we uh. This is for the wing guard. Yeah, I like this. This is for the wing guard. I like. I like. Um, adult form. We'll go for this one. Uh, if I'm having experience points, um, no. Nope. When do they reset? It says, oh, eight hours, one minute. Oh, okay. 
So they're about to reset. They reset on Friday? All right, they set it, we reset on Friday, apparently. Okay. And one game of Outbreak. I uh, went and complete four matches as a Phantom. Kill six enemies in Carnage. Ten waves of Outbreak confirmed. Would you just hold your horses? I know, just hold your horses. So I might come back and play a little bit later, some more, before we go to bed. Um, after I eat my dinner, we're gonna play a little bit of Judgment, though. Uh, a dragon has risen. There was what well, was once a puny hatchling is now ready to display in all its might. In battle, you can now select it as your mount in the customization menu under the classes tab. Uh, yes, I already equipped it, so... Awesome. Oh, okay, so the appearance, it's not any... Okay, it's just a skin. Well, yeah, I mean, it's just... Don't get me wrong, it's not just... I mean, it is, it's just a skin. But um, I thought it actually had a different shape. Uh, but it doesn't. I thought it was a different, different dragon, but it's not. Uh, but it is a different color, so that's cool. They gave you so the, the eggs they give you are different uh, skins, different color combinations. I do like the red, I think. So we'll go with the red. Got red and green spots, or red and yellow spots, I think. So really wish it would tell me. Really wish it would tell me how long the Dragon Pass has left. Oh, what is going on here? It's interesting. I have all of these I can do? Oh, these are only daily, so week one, week two, so week 12. Are we on week 12? Might be on week 12, I guess. I don't know. It seems like I'm unlocking stuff from week 12. We'll see. Um, there is a whole bunch of... I mean, there's a lot of this gives lots of experience, though. So it seems like 20,000 experience, 20,000 experience... Like, there's all... This, even though, like, it seems like... We'll have to see. These challenges do give lots of experience. So it seems like to progress you qu quite a bit through the uh, dragon, through the pass. So we'll have to see how balanced it is um, and see how, how hard it is to get through the pass. And I wonder if it's any different for getting through the quote-unquote premium... I mean, how quote unquote harder it is to get through the premium, which I wouldn't be surprised. Obviously, this is how kind of how they make their money. Um, I would, I, I prefer a fair pass that you can get through. Like, I, I'm fine with locking away the some deep, like the what, unlock, like have some okay stuff in the free side that you can get, but unlock the really good stuff on the pay side, right? And then, and then, um, you know pay 10 bucks for the pass uh you know pay 10 15 dollars for the pass that's where you get a lot of your money from and then make it make it so on average most players can get it um just that's the best way to do i think it's the best way to do it so this is 22 hours 57 minutes left for arena interesting why does it say that is this is this the what mode is this? There's, I'm trying to look. This is the PVE mode. We'll check this out later. In the last Bastion four players team up in the new PVE game mode Outbreak to protect the Tower of Hell's Breach against waves of enemy dwellers. To help you during matches, you can earn gold for each kill, assist you do, or through other enemies. Then you use this gold between waves to purchase buffs and upgrades. Survive ten waves without letting dwellers destroy your tower to win the match. Okay. 
we'll probably check that out next time we play too. So um, I will see you guys probably in about 20 to 30 minutes. And we're going to play some Judgment. And then I think we're going to check this out again uh, after that. I did enjoy this quite a bit. Uh, it, it seems so far things are kind of lopsided. That or just like there is a kind of a decent skill level. Um, uh, yeah, I don't know. I, I think I, I think there's some people where I think it's cross-platform. I think there's some people on PC. It shows people that are on PlayStation. I don't know if the other people are then on Xbox or on computer. So, um, I mean, yeah. In uh, those couple games we played so far, I mean, I did unlock some stuff. Like, I unlocked, like, um, weeklies and stuff. I've gotten 757 coins uh, of the non-premium currency. So I've done some weeklies, and I've done some dailies, I think. And, and we've gotten 757 coins. We only played about seven or eight rounds. Um, so we've gotten about 700, about 750 coins. And it was about... It was for the, unlocking the last class, it's... Um, 20,000 coins. So, if we progress at at least a similar rate, maybe, maybe we progress a little slower, say about, even if we progress at half the rate, I think it'll be a reasonable, we'll, we'll, we'll unlock it. Whether I think it's reasonable or not quite, I'd like it to be a little bit faster, but I still think it's, I mean, it's still kind of, for a free-to-play game, it's not bad. I don't think it's bad. Um, I would prefer they wouldn't lock any characters just because of the way... I, I think it's better... This is where I think th I disagree. They say um, they have no power or whatever. It's all skins. The fact that you have to buy a character is a bad thing. I think they should just have all four characters, only skins, basically. Um, now, if they wanted, they could have different modes. Like, they could have like Call of Duty and other shooters, they could have, as you unlock and progress, you could have you could have a progression path that you can't pay to unlock faster. You could have a progression path of unlocking new abilities and stuff, just slightly, you know, new abilities and stuff um, uh, for each class. Uh, they could do that. They could do an un, uh, they could do um, new equipment. Uh, some new equipment, new abilities, and a progression path for the characters. Um, I think that would be okay. Um, but I don't think you should be able to pay to unlock that faster. Um, I think they should just do a normal progression path. Um, I don't think buying... Because then it locks... Like, if... Let's just say the Storm Razor is the best character. Let's just say, for some reason, it's unbalanced. Let's say it's just that good. Or let's say... Everybody, uh, let's say somehow it counters some one of the other characters' abilities very well, and everybody on the other team has access to it, and you don't, you know, um, and your team doesn't. But it's just the way it works. Um, don't un, you know, don't do that. I don't like that. I don't know. I don't like that. It's just not balanced. That does mean there is power. Uh, having a, a class, an, a whole class with different abilities. In a different play style, um, locked does mean you have power because um, it has it has the ability to do different things. So, but overall, uh, the game is very interesting. Um, it seems relatively balanced so far. Um, we are I'm like I'm on teams that are either stomping people or I, I think I'm okay so far. It'll be interesting to see how things go because I've been on team on the sides of teams. But the one time I was on a t on the side of the team, we had a player quit and the other person wasn't doing very well. Like I was still doing okay and getting away from people and and still getting a kill here. And like I was able to survive and they, like everybody like all the the other enemy was chasing me. That one round I wasn't getting any kills, but I was able to still con like my I was still able to use my heal ability and heal people and get away and um and not get like not get killed so like they were chasing me the other the teammates were getting kills i was healing people so you know um so far so good um uh it, it's interesting it's definitely just the movement system is obviously far different than uh than the airplane shooter you know so uh definitely very different compared to um like uh war thunder or something um it's still it's still a simulator of sorts. It's a dragon. It's a dragon flight simulator. The best way to put it. But it is very fun so far. I like it. The dragons look cool. Um, I'm interested in, in in unlocking and doing more. So um, I will see you guys. Like I said, in a little bit. Give me 20 30 minutes.
so and we will be playing some judgment um this is a very it was a very interesting look the first time into it so far um i really hope they would if they were to do a single player campaign that was either separate from this or even add to it and sold it for 40 bucks or something and some or like you know just do a half decent like not even half but you know did a decent campaign i would pay i would get that I would I would love that. I would love to be able to go around on the ground, be able to be able to do you know Witcher style RPG stuff with my character, and then take to the skies, and have 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 dog fights in the skies with other have the dog fights in the skies with other dragons and marauders and 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 evil creatures. Um, I don't know. There's some really interesting stuff, and so far, like it'd be interesting to see some of the lore to this they even have a lore section here let's see they have a bestuary so dragons discovered we only seen two dragons well i guess uh, that's oh okay okay a lot of dragons But yeah, they even have a bestuary. Look, they have the whole map out so far. I would love to see if this if this game is actually making some okay money, making money. I would love to see a single player portion added to this that you could buy the campaign separate from the multiplayer. Keep the multiplayer free to play. Make a single player. Um, that would be very smart. I think it would be very smart of them. Uh, yes, it takes work. But they have everything. They have a lot of stuff already kind of pre-built around it. A lot of the mechanics and everything. It requires in a map, and it, it requires some work. Don't get me wrong. But I think they're like even then you could even you could even do a th you, what you could do is you could start with a small base game, right? Do a small base game for twenty dollars or something, twenty five dollars, um, and then do basically kind of add on packs, not an MMO. But basically, just do a small base, do not small, but do a base game that's relatively decent size. That's kind of like double A, you know, or indie style. I don't know how big their studio is, but like kind of like a double A game, um, you know, that you can d go around the countryside doing RPG quests and have one kind of not world ending, but like a mercenary style main quest or something, and and then um. And then, and then, and then later on, maybe add another, add another, if that sells well, you know, um, then add another, um, uh, DLC, add another, add another main quest, and another, like another main quest, and maybe kind of build up the main quest to get bigger, and then maybe add, and then near, like, and then in the middle, or like, you know, then build up, and then, and then, add, and then like the second or third one, um, add like a bigger story element kind of thing to it, um, and then that, and then that kind of builds up that, and then, you know, sell those for like 15, like 15, 20, 30 dollars a piece, just depending on size and stuff, but. I would be very interested in that. Um, the dragons look cool. The word looks cool so far. The only issue I have is dragons at a distance have the uh, issue where they have the animation. It would be nice if they f they, they changed it where the animation isn't the the stutter the stutter animation for stuff at a distance. Um, I, the game looks good. I don't know why that like I don't know why they do that. It doesn't seem like those dragons. Um, should really have that stutter animation. I don't. Maybe just it's just for the PS4. I doubt. Maybe it probably doesn't do it on the PC and the PS5. It kind of it's kind of annoying, but it's not a game. It's not a game ender. Um, you kind of don't notice it once you get into the thick of things. So, um, all right. Sorry. I, I'm actually enjoying this and I'm liking it. So I'm kind of I'm praising it and things I would like to see. But anyways, um, that's the only that's the only uh, nitpick I've seen. So far. Um, is that I just don't like that, and I don't. I'm guessing it's just to save on memory and stuff. So, um, but yeah, I'll see you in a little bit. We're gonna play some Judgment. All right, bye bye, guy. Now.